Charlize Theron is opening up about the tragic night her mother killed her father in self-defense. Charlize was only 15 years old at the time. She says she's not ashamed to talk about it. Take a listen. My father was an alcoholic all my life. My father was so drunk that, um, that he shouldn't have been able to walk um, when he came into the house um, with, with a gun. Both of us were leaning against the door from the inside to have him not be able to push through. And he t took a step back and just shot through the door three times. And neither one of those, none of those, those bullets ever hit us, which is just a miracle. But uh, in self-defense, um, she ended the threat. Wow. Mm. You know, what's interesting is it reminds me of the Oscar Pistorius when he shot through the door. Same South African yeah. The country has a problem with a lot of excess of handguns, and they have a lot of intruders, too. So people are very, very handsy to go and shoot. Uh, but I've never heard her speak about this, ever. Uh, she, uh, she briefly talked about it when that movie, The Monster, Monster, Monster. came out. Yep, and uh, she was... Uh, nominated for an Academy Award for that one. But she also spoke about how this is her, the bravery of her mother because her mother wounded her brother at the same time. The brother and the dad came home drunk, but it was the dad that was doing the shooting. And she was talking about the bravery of her mother has kind of emboldened her to take on um, these characters. We always see her in some sort of strong role, and that comes from, you know, her mother. That's and at the same time, she did a PSA in South Africa about the rape crisis that goes on in, in, in South Africa. The government had it taken down, but she fought to get it back up because she felt it was something that people should understand. So uh, I, I like cognitive behavior because it tells you about why you are the way you are because of your childhood. And I think that the bravery of her mother and, and, and dealing with that tragedy is why she's so strong and why she takes on these roles. And I like that she said that this is what happens when people don't get to the root of their issues. So she talked about any issue that your family or friends could, or yourself could be struggling with. If you don't get it checked out, it can go this far. Mm -hmm. And she mm -hmm. opened up about why she felt like she needs to talk about it because she needs to normalize it and make it you understand that it's happening to celebrities, it's happening to normal people, it's happening to everybody. So go get mental and, health and, treatment, whatever you need. And Lindsay, we can talk about mental health, but let's talk about what the real issue is. What it almost everything comes down to alcohol. Almost, we don't want to talk about it as a society. We've decided that alcohol gets a pass. We talk about marijuana. That's, so many, we people, are, with marijuana. So many right. people are in jail because of marijuana. It's never killed anybody. Let's be honest about what we're talking about. This society has given alcohol a pass, and everybody that all of us knows, all of our friends, family members, we've seen everybody. It crosses over socioeconomic, it crosses over racial lines. It is alcohol. I used to enjoy drinking a lot. I'm not being a hypocrite here, but if everybody steps back and look at, looks at their life and the bad decisions that they've made, Alcohol is at the root of this. I guarantee you. And the fact that domestic violence is not given the, the credence that it needs in this country mixed with the fact that you can buy Bacardi 151 at 10 o'clock in the morning and down it and just go about your day. Those two things mixed together will always give us stories like this. And until we address that, we'll just sit back and have casual conversations about marijuana and should we legalize it. Is it is interesting. It's always alcohol. It you can get yeah. alcohol. You can drink at a, at, 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 at a little league baseball game. Think yeah. about how insane that is. Yeah. You can take vodka to a kid's baseball game. No one would say anything. Yeah. If you let up a joint in the stands, everybody would fall out of their chair. Yeah. If you let up a cigarette, people would fall out of their chair. But yet, booze gets a pass, so we'll sit here, we'll watch kids die, we'll watch parents not connect with their children because of the alcohol issue and the, because they have this substance abuse issue. And because of that, we'll just continue to do stories like this. So until we're ready to confront the problem, we'll just keep doing the story. Which well, is I fine, because we have a talk show, and that's great for hey, us. Hey, but I, did we not just stop and let you confront the problem? I'm glad we did on this Good show. Job. Thank you, Colonel Mustard. Yeah.